Hello and welcome to another episode of Nathan Chu's Disney Review. I am your host, Nathan Chu, and today's review is going to be the movie that came out recently, Cinderella. Uh, I saw this movie the second weekend it was out. Uh, the review's a little late because I was trying to get to uh, the Angels in the Outfield one because it was the start of baseball season. So... First, I'll go over a little bit of Disney news. Um, they started on Netflix. The series for uh, Daredevil uh, was uploaded this past weekend. I've watched the first four episodes, and I'm really impressed with it uh, right now. Uh, we also have that Disney Parks blog put up uh, concept art of what looks like to be a new Yeti inside the Matterhorn, as well as concept art, more of like teaser art for the Hatbox Ghost, which is now officially confirmed for uh, to come in the mansion this May. Also, we have confirmed that they are plussing the show for the Peter Pan ride uh, at Disneyland as well. They have it behind things saying just refurbishment, and now we've officially confirmed they're plussing it, uh, to go along with rumors that that has been going for a while. Critter Country's back up and running full swing. Um, looking forward to seeing, since I won't be able to go, at least this summer, hopefully, I can hope for October, when, um, not guaranteed, hopefully before the end of the 60s I'll be able to go to Disneyland, uh, seeing the ride-alongs for both Peter Pan and Matterhorn to see the new Plussing, uh, as well as to ride Alice, because I have yet to ride Alice since uh, the Plussing of the rides. This uh, weekend, as I'm recording this, will the Disney Nature uh, Monkey Kingdom will be uh, released into theaters. I will probably go see that movie as well. Uh, I have yet to see a Disney Nature movie in the theater I uh, will see if I if I get a chance to just with being uh, busy with everything and there are uh, rumors of more uh, Disney reimagining uh, re remakes if you want to call it uh, cartoon movies into live action uh, I know that the one I believe I talked about before was Dumbo by Tim Burton, which I'm unsure of that one. Mulan is a rumored one. Uh, it's yet to be confirmed, so we'll, we'll have to see how that goes as well. And that's about all the Disney news I currently have for you guys. I'm pretty sure there's much more Disney news. Uh, but those are the big ones to me uh, that I pay, paid attention to. Uh, and, well, hope you all enjoy the review. Cinderella, the 2015 film, or 2015, whichever you prefer. Um, this was released by Disney in March of 2015. Uh, I just saw it in the theater last night. Um, it stars Lily James as Ella, or Cinderella. Kate Blanchett as Lady Tremaine. Richard Madden as Prince Charming, um, and Hela, Helena Bonham Carter as the Fairy Godmother. Now this one, it is more like the Disney version of the movie, borrowing many, and then borrowing some parts of the original tale as well. Um, this one actually goes more into the behind, or I wouldn't say behind the scenes, um, the backstory of Cinderella when she was younger, shows her father, shows her mother for a little bit, um, 
and then shows like when the stepmother comes in, stepsisters, and like kind of the transformation of her from being a quote unquote sister to a servant instead. Um, they do have the, the mice in there. They don't talk, but she does communicate to them and they understand her. Um, and then you have the fairy godmother in there. And you have, um, I mean, it's just, it's the, it's the same Cinderella story you've seen. Um, it's just slight little twist, I guess, here and there. Um, if I was to pick a Cinderella movie to watch, I'd watch the animated film from from early Disney because that's just a classic and I think it's I think it's better this one I I'd give about like three mouse ears out of five um, also just coming off from seeing Into the Woods um, which had Cinderella in it as well um, I prefer Into the Woods more watching it just with the music and stuff it's a it's a romantic fantasy drama movie. Um, yeah, it's worth seeing maybe once if if you like the Cinderella story. I'm pretty sure you're just gonna love the whole. Uh, you're gonna love the movie. Um, what I do like better in this one versus the old one is the prince is actually well this is kind of this is kind of a spoiler so I'll wait on that part there are elements of this I do like better than the animated movie um um this is going to be a little bit spoiler so if you don't want to hear any spoilers um I would turn off the recording now Sorry, I just dropped something. Um, but if you don't like any spoilers, um, stop the recording now. Or play back now. If you don't want to hear any spoilers, I would stop listening now. Maybe fast forward it a minute or two. Uh, depending on how long this is. Um, just because, you know, I don't want to spoil the movie for you. But if you know the story already, then... You know, it's no need, you know what happens in the end. Um, what I do like is that they had the, the prince and Cinderella had met before. I saw this in the recent play I watched. I never actually read the the fairy tale itself. I kind of curious now because I've seen so many different versions of Cinderella. I want to I want to actually read the actual Brothers Grimm fairy tale. But I like that they, they met before the ball. It wasn't just like instant fall in love. I mean, it kind of is, but, you know, more so after they meet. They go off and they talk for a bit. It doesn't seem like they're just dancing all night. That um, the prince is actually there for the fittings, even though he's in disguise. Um, and then he reveals himself when the duke is not going to check the last maiden in the... At the time, I guess, Tr Tremaine household. Um, when they hear her singing. And then the prince, re or, well, he's king at that point, reveals himself. That he's been there the whole time, making sure that the duke does his job. Um, I like that better than... When you look at the Cinderella version, the animated one, it's like... Well, the prince just sent out the duke. Duke went and looked. That was it. Uh, he does. He kind of comes off like disinteresting. Like he's not really that interested in finding, in finding her. But these other versions, it, and I'm assuming that's probably the way it is in the original story that they were, you know, he was there too at the same time. Um, it does end in the happy ending. It does end. In the, Oh, I, for, I forgive you, stepmother. Um, no, uh, no birds pecking the the stepsister's eyes out, and uh, no cutting pieces of the feet off to try to slip it in there. Um, Disney kind of shies away from that. Not in Into the Woods. They put that in there probably because it's 
more with the play than than they could tweak the actual Cinderella story better. But it the effects are good when the fairy godmother comes and the transformations of all the, the animals into the different other animals and people. And the pumpkin was really pretty cool. The pumpkin was was gorgeous looking. Uh, I really liked how that looked. Uh, the gold pumpkin and how everything started like switching back after after midnight and them running away. Overall, like, if you like the Cinderella story, definitely check it out. If you're not too keen on the whole Cinderella story, it, um, maybe skip it. Um, I like the Cinderella story, so I was curious what they're doing in live action. But overall, I'd give it maybe a 2.5, 3 out of 5 mouse ears. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, if you like this review, there's more reviews on our YouTube channel. And uh, you can check them out either by clicking uh, subscribe or going to redbuttonjamfist.com where we also have articles, we have podcasts, we have other videos, play video games, places to go see in Arizona. Uh, we just keep trying to grow different things. Um, you can follow me at Nathan Chu on Twitter. It's N-A-T-H-A-N-C-H-U. You can also follow our, our website on Twitter as well. It's RB Jamfest. You can also, uh, find us on Facebook and like us there and get postings of when we're doing live Twitch screen, um, uh, streamings and all that good stuff and when new reviews are up. So hopefully you enjoyed the review and... Until next time, remember. A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep.